and welcome to this iMindMap 11 tutorial all about radial map view. Starting here in the iMindMap home screen, we're going to click the radial map option to begin. Start by naming your project by typing directly into this text box and hitting enter. From here you can add additional nodes by simply typing and hitting enter. As long as that central node is still selected, it will continue to add nodes around it, like so. To build upon another node, click to select it and do the same again. So I've gone ahead and built my radial map now by adding more nodes. Now I'm going to show you how you can indicate importance by changing the size and weight of your nodes. Start by selecting the node you want to change the size of. Up here in the toolbar you have increase or decrease. To make it bigger, simply tap that increase button and you'll see it grow wider. If something is less important, you want to decrease it, select the node you want to work from, and again, just tap that decrease. And it will shrink. Next, I'm going to show you the pop-up edit menu. Click the node you want to work from, and you're given these options here. Starting with this one, click the blue arrow, and you're taken to a text box. This allows you to add a child node to your selected. This text icon here uh, just simply allows you to change the text of the node you've got selected. Color, hit this to change the color of the node you've got selected and its child node. So I'll just show you an example here. I'll select yellow and anything kind of below this node here has taken that yellow color. From your menu here, select this focus in button and that will only show you that node and its child nodes. This is really good for when you want to hone in on an idea, so you can continue to do that. Go in as deep as you like. You've got this button here that will take you back out a level. You also have this breadcrumb function here, so at any point you want to go back to the main overview, you can do so like that as well. Back onto the pop-up edit menu, you have a couple of insert options, image, attachment, note, or tag. Let's start with an image, so click image and that will open up your image library. Here you can search for a relatable image and simply click to add that to that node. You can use the pop-up edit menu to also insert notes, so click and insert, you've got note here. So this allows you to add a little bit more text that you wouldn't necessarily want to have on your radio map, but you do need, so it keeps it hidden until it's needed. Collapse that there, and if I zoom in, you can see the note icon here indicating that there are more details. So if I click that, it will call up my note here. You can also insert web links. Click and insert in the attachments, you'll find that here. Type to add the URL, click that plus. Now, whenever you need it, this URL will stay here and you can click straight through to that web page. Again, it's just a really nice way of keeping resources within your radial map without cluttering its visuals. I hope you've enjoyed this radial map tutorial. Keep learning by heading over to our iMyMap YouTube channel now for more.